Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. This is a huge collective haul and it's going to be a long one. So I'm just going to let you hop straight into the video and I hope you enjoy. That's my penny spike. Firstly, I've got this top and it's like a jumper type thing and it's cuffed at the sleeves and at the waist and just says Mickey Mouse on it and I love it. And it was reduced to three euros so can't resist that can you? Continuing with the Mickey Mouse team, I got these runners. Well, they're not really runners, what are they? Like plimsolls, like slip on shoes, things. And they're mini and Mickey Mouse, and I think they're the cutest thing ever. And I think they were 13 year old. I picked up essentials, like so. I picked up a grey hoodie, and then I picked up a pink one. Right, so I have this thing where I go into pennies and I'll pick up all the pairs of jeans and all the pairs of pants and all the leggings and no t-shirts and then I have all the pants and no t-shirts to wear. So I restricted myself about one pair of jeans and the rest are all t-shirts. The first thing is jeans and they're just blue jeans but they're ripped at the knee. If you see my last pennies haul, um, I got a pair of these but they were like a charcoal black and they're just the exact same, just there like a normal colour jean. I picked up this stripey one and it's just like a long sleeve one brand for the winter and it's like a burnt orange colour. Then I picked up a green one, the exact same. Then I just picked up a plain like pinky red t-shirt and it's just like three quarter length sleeves. Then for a more dressy type top, I thought this was a really nice, it just has a little bit of gold detail in here on the chest and I don't have any tops like at all, like dressy tops or just casual tops. Like I just wear the same thing all the time. Then I picked up two of these. I picked up one in grey and it just has a Peter Pan collar and it's quite long and they're short sleeved. Then in burgundy as well. I didn't pick that up. I know I did. Okay, so again, if you see my last pennies haul, you'd recognise this. I got one of these in like a grey colour, but I in my last one I picked it up in like a yellowy mustardy colour and I just thought they were really nice and comfortable and they're grand for the winter so it's just like a turtleneck and has long sleeves. And then I picked up an essential pair of black leggings and lastly for the clothing I picked up pyjamas because you can't go into pennies without picking up a pair of pyjamas. Also in pennies I picked up Christmas stuff because you can't go into pennies when they get the Christmas stuff in and not pick up Christmas stuff. So I picked up six Disney baubles, okay the glare from my lights are on it. I'll just, I'll take the pack off. There you go. So they're all like little Christmas baubles. So there's a Mickey Mouse hand, Minnie Mouse, another Mickey Mouse hand, Mickey Mouse, and then just two like Mickey Mouse shaped baubles. So I'm gonna get a little Christmas tree for my room and I'm gonna stick them up on that. Also, Christmas baubles, I got these. And I've seen these on Instagram and oh my God, I was like, yeah, need them. They're just Mickey and Minnie and they're like them little white polystyrene balls in them and I just think they're so cute. So moving on to boots, I didn't really go as mad at it in boots as I thought I would but I picked up a few presents for my mum and I know she watched my video so I'm not going to show them but I picked up the Botanics Radiance All Bright Balm. I've heard loads of people talk about it and I said I'd give it a try, sure, why not? So it was 10 euro for, no it was 9 euro for four packs of the wipes and they're usually 2 49 each so yes in boots I picked up the silicone real techniques eyeliner brush and I've been dying to try this I actually did use it I just put it back in the video in the case for case packaging whatever for the sake of this video and I don't know whether I like it or not it's great it's good for doing like your eyeliner above your lid but I don't know whether I like it for doing wings because I like really thin like precise wings and I don't know either. This gives me the look I want. If you have any recommendations for an eyeliner brush, let me know down below. I forgot I picked this up in bits. This is the Bourjois Volume 1 Second Mascara and this is waterproof version because waterproof is the best. I did it! I got Inglot. Inglots. I can't even speak today, I don't know why. Um, Inglots Gel Eyeliner in 77 and I'm sure every single one of you has know what this is. It's just a black gel eyeliner and I love it. Oh my god, what did I do with my life without this? Because it is the best eyeliner I have ever had in my life. Then I picked up these uh, cosmetic sponges in Deals. Then two other little things I picked up in the chemist. I got the Nivea post shave balm thingy that um, Nikki Tutorials mentioned and everyone went 
mental for and it was only three euro it's reduced like all the time in my town and um it is so and then good. i picked up the garnier my salad water and i've obviously used this because i ran out and i needed it so i needed to use it i was in college and urban decay came in and gave us a talk and you know urban decay came in and i was not going to leave the room without buying this so yeah i bought the naked smoky and oh i just love it there's just so many gorgeous colors in it just the pigmentation like look at that it's so gorgeous and i like out of all the naked palettes i have two three and the smoky and i honestly smoky is my favorite like i just love it so much and then also urban decay i decided to try the all nighter makeup setting spray and i love this stuff and i'm gonna get a big bottle for christmas because i love it my life is just complete now to have that i went to brian thomas and i picked up one thing and that was a mac lipstick at their cut up i know it's only like 50 cent for but they're dead on 20 euro now so just if you didn't know that, I don't know why they, I haven't heard why they increase their prices or anything like that. I don't know whether it's just, I don't know if it's just their lipsticks that have gone up or what. But this is Candy Yum Yum. And look at that. It's just so pink. Lush is my weakness, okay. I just love bath bombs and I'll tell you, hi I'm Chloe and I'm addicted to Lush. This wasn't me. The big bag was. My friend was away and she brought me home a bath bomb because she was bringing me home present and she got me the frozen bath bomb. So I haven't tried it yet. I've been waiting to haul all this. So yeah. I'm going to try and fly through this and it might be a bit jumpy with the editing because I don't want to show you all the rattling and me opening loads of bags. Yeah. Also, which is in my fridge, I got the mask of Magnum Inti and oh my god, love it. Love it. Definitely understand why there's such a big hype about it and the smell of it. It just smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream and that's so yummy. First is bright side and this is like really orangey and like it just smells like pure orange and I love orange is my favourite like flavour of sweets and like Skittles and what are they Starburst and all that and I like orange. So I just think oh it just smells so yummy. I really wish you could smell it because it just smells so yummy. And that's a bubble bar just in case I don't think I mentioned it. Another bubble bear is the comforter and this was so raved about lately and it just smells like blackberries and I don't think, does it say on it? It doesn't say what the smell is but I think it kind of smells like blackberries or something. I don't know. It just smells, it just smells like glitter or something. That's such a weird way to describe it but I just think it smells really like girly and pretty. Does that make sense? So this is Granny Tapes Takes a Dip. And I was so disappointed when I seen this in the shops. I was expecting this to be huge, like as big as the comforter. And it's tiny. Like, I just think it's so small. Like, I probably use that all in one go. But it's all pretty when I use it all in one go from use, from seeing like people use it on YouTube and stuff. So I might just give that all a go in once. Or I might cut it down in half. So I have the effect of it all. But it smells lovely. It's really like florally or something. I don't know, like, I am so bad at describing smells, I should have said that at the beginning of this. Because I just say everything smells lovely and that smells really nice and girly and flowery and that's the only thing I can kind of describe something at, is if I can know exactly what it smells like or it smells florally or nice. I think this is all the bubble bars I got. So this is Bar Humbug and I was kind of pressured, not pressured into buying this, but he was like, oh, you'll really like this, so... I was just like, mm, anything to have a purple bath. Purple's my favourite colour, so sure, why not? So this is like the Christmas, part of the Christmas collection. And there's kind of like a licorice smell to it, and I don't really like licorice. But, but then again, I'm like, mm, this smells nice. Like I said, I'm quite bad at describing smells, so it might smell like licorice at all. But I think it's just really nice, and it's really glittery. I think you can see it there. And my Nana said, this looks like a Swiss roll. There you go, got another bubble bar. And um, this is Pop in the Bath. And I just picked this up because I thought it looked pretty, basically. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought it looked nice, so. Oh, yeah, this bar. is the Experimenter. Yeah, the Experimenter. So if you've heard anyone talk about the new Lush Oxford Street sh uh, store, they probably mentioned this. Then I got Twilight, which is just this one. And it's really pretty, and it has um, like stars and stuff on the top. This is intergalactic, and it's really pretty. And there's glitter, and there's like colours going the whole way through it. So I'd say it's going to be really colourful when I put it in my bath. But there's kind of like a peppermint, minty, like experimenty smell to it. 
this is sex bomb and it has a little um purple little what are they rose there we go on the top and i just think it looks really pretty and i don't really i don't think there's a proper like smell to it i can't like i can smell it kind of smells like um sherbet fizz that's what it's called sherbet fizz i had to take a minute there to think of that last and definitely not least is the blackberry back bulb isn't it yeah blackberry back bulb and it doesn't smell like blackberries i think it kind of it reminds me of like a men's aftershave or something i think it smells very like man not manly but just kind of smells like aftershave it's like musky or something i don't know it smells just bewilder me so that's it for my haul guys i'm actually surrounded by stuff i didn't realize how much i bought but it has been a massive collective haul. It's been for my trip to Dublin and then a few bits and pieces here and there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you've tried any of the bath bombs, what you think of them, any ones you could recommend to me. Because, you know, I can never say no to bath bombs. And I think my glasses have been lopsided like this whole video. They just won't stay on my face. I need them tightened. They're really doing my head in. So I'm sorry if that annoys you because it's gonna annoy me when I'm editing this, but yeah. So I'll talk to you soon and let me know what you think. Bye guys.